How's it going guys? I am Connor from Running Warehouse and today I'm here with Kurt Stockbridge and this is the man behind the innovation at Skechers Performance and we've got an extremely special shoe. I think this might be one of my favorite daily trainers on the market currently. This is the Skechers Max Road 4. Now the Max Road series has been around for a while but for someone who might not know the Skechers Performance series, how would you describe the shoe? Where does this fit in the lineup? What was the inspiration? Well, Connor, uh, it was really pure. It came from two ultra runners within a couple of weeks who said the exact same thing. They said, hey, we love what the competition is bearing out there, but if you could make something a little bit more light and more flexible and more comfortable, we would love this shoe. So that's what we did. I mean, the original uh, one four years ago, you can see that that's all in there. See how the, the sole is cored out. So it's very lightweight and flexible. Uh, and they responded, and you can see the Max Road 4, four years later, has the same type of DNA to it. To service the long distance runners, max cushioning, uh, flexibility, and lightweight and comfortable. So now with the Max Road 4, it's lighter, it's more responsive, but still has a lot of similarities to where it all started from. Can you talk about the updates in the Max Road 4? Yeah, I mean, I mean the biggest one, Connor, is just the introduction of Hyperburst. I mean, it's. It's all about, again, flexibility and lightweight, and with Hyperburst, we've made this the lightest Max Road 4 to date. Here's the, the previous one, that's the Max Road 3 right there, and you can just see how this has become a bit more modern. Of course, it's flexible, but now, the way that we've cored out that geometry, you can see now, it's even more flexible. But with 22 millimeters of Hyperburst under your forefoot, six millimeter offset, 28 under the heel, you've got great, great cushioning at a super lightweight package. So right, with the addition of this Hyperburst midsole, we're gonna get that ultra lightweight design, but also that responsiveness you associate with the Hyperburst midsole. This shoe is coming in at 8.4 ounces, but the weight is not all coming from the midsole. We've also got a little bit in the upper. Can you talk about the updates there? Yeah, you're right, Connor. Um, the upper is one of the keys to how it's lightweight uh, from its predecessor. We've gotten better at flat knits, and, and you can just see how we've taken a lot of the structure out where you do not need it. This is comfortable very comfortable, but you've got structure around the perimeter, all through the quarter. We do that with uh, using hot melt yarns. So just using it strategically makes it lighter and you can see just the comfort that the, the sock knit uh, collar provides. And that package of the upper and the bottom at 8.4 ounces is, is pretty incredible. Yeah, and you talk about that sock knit. How is that gonna feel on foot? How is that gonna wrap your foot and give you that natural feel? Well, that was the idea. You know, when you're running long distances, you wanna be comfortable. And that, that comes not just from the sole and what's under your foot, but what's wrapping around too. So runners love the fact that it's comfortable and they can go long distances, whether it be 26 or, or ultra marathons and not be beat up from the bottom, uh, the, the hyperburst midsole, or the upper. Right, and that, that's, at the end of the day, comfort is gonna be the most important part. We got into the tech features in the shoe, but what I think a lot of people wanna know is how is it gonna feel underfoot when you're going 10 miles, when you're going 20 miles, how is this shoe gonna feel on your long days? Yeah, surprisingly fast. You know, you think of a, a max cushion shoe, if you think of it as being heavy, not flexible, um, a little bit slower. But now with all those things we've talked about and hyper purse and the lightweight, the shoe wants to go fast. And we hear that all the time, like, I wanted to keep going, I felt great, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what you feel. You feel just the lightweight nature of the hyperburst, you feel the flexibility, but there's enough structure in that forefoot, so it's not too flexible. It still gives you that poppy feel. It's just a great combination, so it makes it versatile as well for a lot of distances and runners. So the Max Road 4 is gonna offer the highest level of cushioning in the Skechers lineup. It's got that ultra-responsive hyperburst midsole mixed with a very comfortable upper. Overall, I think runners of all levels are really gonna enjoy the Max Road 4. If you're looking to get this shoe on your foot, it's available now. You can find it at runningwarehouse.com.